Hello, Esther, you old bag. It's me again, Jamie from randomizeuser.com. Today we're going to look at Starbound 1.2's Ancient Vaults, a major new addition to the game. And this is still, by the way, the unstable branch. It hasn't landed for everyone just yet, but we're going to have a nice little preview, because Ancient Vaults are really cool. So actually getting to see an Ancient Vault is very easy. All you have to do is complete the game. Yeah, this is purely an endgame thing, I'm afraid. <laughs> But once you've completed the game, come back to the outpost, talk to the trader, get a quest, and you can start getting keys from the hooded weirdo. So the mysterious trader, um, for, for that's his name, um, will actually give you keys if you give him whatever he actually asks for. In this case, static cells, but it might be something different, another elemental drop or whatever. He wants 10, I've got 99 plus, so let's get a key. Oh, now he wants Violium, which I've got none of, uh, which is no good. I'll have to go and mine some. Um, but we've got one key, and that's the main thing. So, now what we have to do... Well, go back to the ship. May as well. Then you have to go and find a system that has an ancient gate in it. Luckily, I happen to be just exactly where I need to be. But you're looking for this. Uh, you'll have seen these around. They've been in the game forever. Um, but yeah, I mean... Some systems have them in, but not that many. So, there's one. Um, but we'll go into this one. Oh, the Astralis Legion system. <laughs> Shout out to Down Under. Right, so we're going to beam down onto the Ancient Gates. Toodaloo loo. Go over here. Select it. Activate. And we've got ourselves a fire based Ancient Vault. It could be one of four, and this happens to be fire, but there are other elemental ones as well. So now you have 30 minutes in which you can go in and out of the vault as many times as you want before it'll close. Or you can close it um, manually, and because maybe you'll want to open up a different kind of gate. Uh, right, okay, I'm just going to swap characters because this one is <laughs> has broken tech, and you kind of like need good tech before you go in there. Okay, it's me, Spoiler Ape again. Right, so this um, this character has opened up a different gate. This is an ice-themed one, so let's go in there instead. Right, so what's the point of Ancient Vaults then? Well, they're an in-game challenge, but they do give you access to terraformers, and also there's a, there's a special kind of anvil, uh, which uh, will upgrade your weapons, um, unique ones only. So let's have a bit of a look around. You can decode these if you've got the um, decoder, what's it call it? But it probably just says, hello, <laughs> or something. So, you have to fight your way through the dungeon, um, or the ancient vault, whatever you want to call it. All the creatures you meet will be themed around whatever elemental dungeon it actually is. And this is, these are all quite tough, so obviously you need end gamey type things. I've got the Protectorate Sword, plus some really good perfect armour. So yes, to actually get to those the, the, um, the Terra Forge, which allows you the terraforming machines... You do actually need to find your way to a boss, defeat the boss, and then you'll get access. But not until then. If you leave the vault and come back again after defeating a, the boss, you can still... Um, you have to fight your way back through the dungeon, but you won't have to fight the endgame boss again. Right, so these are procedurally generated, so every time you open a new one, it will be different. Ow! Bloody hell. Um, woefully unprepared on the, the healing front. So, as you can see, every so often I'm getting a big purple blast. Oh, hello. <laughs> and that is Essence. Um, as you can see, Ancient Essence down there. That is going into a total down here. Um, this is like Pixels, only endgame type stuff. Lots of things you destroy here will give you it. Even just basic stuff such as vases. Careful. All these creatures, very tough. I think they're officially called Tier 8 enemies. So they do do some damage, even though I've got really, really good armour. Uh, let's see, where am I going? So yeah, the, these dungeons are put together with kind of like basic pieces of dungeon, um, with the procedures generated. So they do start to look fairly similar after a while. Uh, da, da, da. But there are a few like minor puzzles, a few things where you have to switch things on and off. But if you look, this is why you do need tech, because yeah, there is a lot of this sort of thing. And also, there are cer certain points, possibly optional I think, where you, you actually do need to become the ball. Oh god, this is um. Ow! God damn it! You will find little chests here and there, and um, they usually contain essence. Although very occasionally you might find something better. Oh, here we go. Look, you see to the left. There's probably going to be a secret door somewhere. 
um, which means I can get into there and do something. I think that's a, a bonus chest. Um, you might have to find, you might have to like um, uh, find a secret door and then go through it with your ball. Uh, but that's oh, here we go. Look, there we go. There we go. Ah, no, no, they're all over the place. Oh, bads, bads, bads. Oh, th that's fine. And there we go. Absolutely tons of essence. Let's get out of there. Right, so I don't know where the end of the dungeon is. It's not like I'm reliably like at the top or at the bottom or whatever. You just have to investigate. Um, it it kind of goes without saying, but each time you come back into it, um, it is going to be the same layout. It's only the only procedure generated when you actually open up a brand new one, not going to the same ones before. I am actually running out seriously of um, health. Oh! oh, look, I had a chest there. Never mind. One good thing is I won't actually drop anything. Other than pixels, oh, <laughs> yeah. I think um, I think this is a a, a a casual mode character, so he only drops ten percent of pixels. But yeah, you still do drop them. So you go back, you can go back and try again. So let's do that. Do to do to do. Still open. Still got twenty five minutes to go. And as you'll be able to see, it's. You pretty much pick up where you left off, but you have to go back to the start, obviously. But any drops that you've already got, like, I got that earlier, are still going to be lying about the place, so it has saved everything from earlier. I think maybe try a different route this time, though, because I don't think I was going in the right direction. Um, also, I'm, I'm, I'm being reckless and I haven't got any health. So, ah! Dicks! Oh, I've got, I found another one of these, though, so that's a, that's a positive. Lots of essence... There we go. There's also a matey boy in here, which is not ideal. Kill your... Right, I reckon that's a hidden door. Yes! So do look out for that sort of thing. It's usually the telltale purpleness that you'll see kind of like just hiding somewhere, which will alert you to the fact that there might be a hidden door. But yeah, as you can see, the little pressure pad there, which has now disappeared. Um, and I've got myself some even more essence, which I'll be able to spend on getting terraformers and upgrading my weapon and stuff like that. Uh, although I haven't actually looked around the place and I still can't actually find the, the final boss yet. So we occasionally come across sub-biomes as well, like here's a bioluminescent um, biome, and which is all nice to see, and you do actually get to see the, um, the mobs from those spawn, although I've killed them all. Anyway, I've come all the way to the right of the, of the um, dungeon from the left, and here we go with a boss, which will probably kill me. Um, these are procedure generated as well, so all their attacks are random, and they're also based on whatever elemental dungeon you're actually in. So I'm going to shoot him with my X machina. Ah! Well, there's the um, there's a terror forge on the right, but you can only go through this door once you've actually tonked this guy. Let's try and get him. Oh God! Oh, this is very like one of the earlier bosses, all that stuff on the bottom. You've got to usually get rid of their shield first. Ah, dicks! Right, you prick. You prick! Is this doing anything? <laughs> Probably not. Oh, there we go, look! For some reason, when he did that, when he did a charge at me, his shield went down. Ah, maybe I have to get him to charge into these things. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Prick! Prick! Prick off! Ah! Right, get rid of these. Oh, no, no! They get up in the air. And shoot. Oh, that wasn't very good, was it? <laughs> right. Move over here. Oh, there we go. Yep, yeah, that's it. That's how you do it. You make him charge into these things. Uh, oh, God. Run away. Run away. Okay, just so we can actually get to the end. Um, I've actually cheated in a bit of admin command stuff, so I'm actually invincible at the moment. I just want to finish him off so we definitely just don't die and have to start again. <laughs> right, so, yep. He's dead. He's exploded all of his essence all over the place. Pick all that stuff up. And now we have access to here. There was a slight um, uh, an anomaly um, when I was practicing this earlier. I did discover that um, sometimes this door doesn't seem to open, but that's because I think there were baddies in here, and it kind of did some weird thing where I had to kill the baddies before I had to go through here, but whatever. As I say, you don't have to fight the boss more than once. Although the time is ticking, the um, the gate will shut quite soon. Anyway, this is the Terraforge, where you can buy your terraformers. 
Now this we've covered in a previous video, so go check that out if you want to see terraformers at work. And also microformers. 50% of the time, those bosses do drop microformers, and very occasionally you'll, you'll be able to find it in the main dungeon. Uh, let's see if I actually managed to pick one up for a previous encounter. Yes, there we go. I managed to. I killed a, uh, a fire boss and got a floral microformer. So there you go. There is the. Um, what you call it? The, some kind of anvil, some ancient anvil. Now, it only lets you um, upgrade unique weapons for some reason. Um, but this is an old flamethrower. Uh, whatever. I need to spend 3,500 essence on it. Upgrade it. And now I have a flamethrower star weapon. Somewhere. There it is. So the stats have just basically been boosted. That used to be damage per shot of 1, and now it's 2.3. So let's have a look at that. Well, it's the same as any flamethrower, really, but now it's just better. It's more kind of endgame capable. Then you go through the door, go back through here, and boom! We're back at the thing, uh, with only five minutes to go as well. Um, so, yeah, if I wanted to reuse that um, Terraforge capability, I'd probably not have time to actually manage to fight the way through the dungeon again. But never mind, there's always another key to get. But then I'll have to fight another boss. Yeah. Okay, so thanks for watching. As I say, do check out my previous video on terraforming. All very interesting. And maybe we'll do some more 1.2 videos. Who knows? Um, tune in and find out! Or subscribe. One of the two. <laughs> okay, see you next time. Bye-bye. Well, get off the toilet.